Hi, I'm Lauren Sonnenberg with LifeCore, and for those of you who don't know me, I work with people with chronic pain and illness to feel better. And so I actually have a few moments right now. Um, I'm actually out shopping, and the baby is asleep in the back seat, at least for the moment, and I did not want to wake him up and disturb him by getting him out of the car. Since sleep time is precious, I figured, okay, I'm sitting here, let me do a little video for you all, because it's been a while. Um, being a new mom has made my productivity level a little bit different than it used to be, so here we are. So what I wanted to talk with you about today is, um, with chronic pain, there are a lot of factors. If you're looking at chronic pain from a mind-body perspective, there are a lot of factors that influence why the pain is created in the first place and why it continues on. So when we're looking at emotional factors, one of the first things I want to explore with clients, and you can do this on your own, um, just thinking about it, especially if you're new to mind-body, this kind, this concept may be um, entirely a new way to look at it. So um, with chronic pain, ask yourself, when the pain first started, what was going on in your life and that can be very revealing when I say what's going on what was going on I'm referring to what was getting worse what was getting better what was changing were there any major life events going on any relationship changes anything changing at work um, anything within the family structure a lot of those um, points can be explored a lot of people know right away oh wow, when, you, when I ask that question, they say, oh, yeah, I remember. So the next question we would want to explore, um, obviously in more depth than just taking two seconds to, to look at it, but for the point, uh, for the purpose of this video, I um, want you to just take a second and see also in your present life, do you know what number one thing, maybe two things, have been troubling you? Um, most people say yes, they do know. Maybe not. Um, but when we also look at those, a lot of times what's showing up presently that's providing and provoking um, us emotionally, so I should say providing us with some emotional challenge and or provoking us in certain ways, um, it could be, could be a, a factor in our present physical symptoms. Maybe it's related to the pain, maybe it's related to something else, but definitely worth looking at. And um, what else um, with all of that? Um, the baby might be waking up. Hi, little baby. I see you. How are you? Okay, so let me close up with, so looking at past issues, um, what was going on at the time the pain um, started, and what's going on presently. Now, don't be frustrated if you can't find out answers to those right away. It's okay, um, especially if you're not used to looking for certain things, um, you may not find it. Okay, so I'll come back and we'll do part two, three, and four with all this, all of this, maybe more. Okay, thanks for joining me today and I'll look forward to seeing you online soon again. Okay, bye-bye.